Today started with a floral um, bouquet arranging Zoom workshop with Molten Brown Girls. Nikki Tibbles from Wild at Heart was on the Zoom call and these are the flowers that Molten Brown sent us the other day. They represent the notes in the floral luminaire um, fragrance which I have just become obsessed with. And this is how the bouquet looks. I'm very, very pleased with this. We did it step by step with Nikki over Zoom. And I have to say, I'm really starting to enjoy these Zoom kind of blogger events. It is the way that the industry is continuing to do product launches and I think it's fantastic. It was also my first time wearing my little floral apron, which is of course a cooking apron, um, but I thought it'd be very nice to wear for the workshop. So now I just need to have a little dash around, tidy everything up, figure out where my stunning bouquet is going to go, um, and get on with some emails. Goodness me, it is a miserable day. I feel like we have had the end of our heat wave, unfortunately, and it is now pouring with rain. Um, Charlie and I took the dogs for a quick walk down in the village, and we ran into a lady who runs an upholstery business here in the village, and she said, oh, the old um, people that used to rent your house had commissioned her to make some blinds, some curtains, and some window seats, and she was like, please, just take them, because they were clogging up her workroom and we were like oh my gosh no we can't do that we've got to give you some money for them but she was insistent very kindly that we took them so we're of course going to take her a bottle of wine and send lots of business her way because i do have um i think i've mentioned an antique french bed coming which is going to need professionally reupholstering so i'm going to show you all the lovely bits that she had previously made so first of all she's done a very good job of the measurements yeah absolutely perfect this is designed mm. oh that does look nice actually i'm not mad on it but then the only thing i'm thinking mm. is this is sort of a pinkish colour. Yeah. That kind of will work with the colour that we're painting the walls with. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have to wait and see when the room is decorated. Yeah, I think, because it fits this gap. Wow, that needs painting. Um, it's, not, it's not my favourite, but it does work. It does. And as we said, like, especially for well, now, we could we always... We can't afford, obviously, can we, to get them all done. So no. it's a good stock gap. Definitely. Let's see how this one works in the kitchen. It might match Dickie's dog bed. Might actually work really well. Oh, that does look nice. Yeah, no, that looks brilliant. That looks really nice. Yeah, and I do actually sit there quite a lot. Just stick that. Yes! On and it perfectly matches like Dickie's bed. No, it doesn't look right like that. And naturally, it's probably a good habit for us to not put flowers on the windowsill because Nikki is. Tibbles this morning was saying, that makes them die quicker if they're in direct sunlight. I mean, that it, looks this, wonderful. This is probably the one in the family room. The, uh, the one in the family room, in a way, I think we might end up not having a seat on it because we're going to have two armchairs and a yeah. table. So, but this one is this is exactly what we wanted one because when you're cooking and stuff, it's such a nice yeah. place to sit. And this is this is not dissimilar to the sort of colour I'd want in here. That's exactly what we would have gone for because it looks so nice. Yeah, this is like perfect. it literally matches. She's done a fantastic job of fitting it. Yeah, she has. It's perfect. Right, should we have a look at the other ones? We're like excited it, now. Daddy, I love it. I love it, Daddy. Any time it means that you'll be sitting near me and I get oh. to kiss you more. Bad breath? Oh, goodness me. Bad breath? I need to get sponsored by one of the toothpaste brands, Daddy, because my breath is actually quite awful. Yes. Forget about Oral B. It's all about all about Oral D. Yeah. Oral care for doggies. I was thinking about founding an oral care brand for Dachshund specifically. Yes. What a silly chap. Godwin. Bonkers. I feel like since this. Isolation, not the right word. Lockdown. Lockdown started, we've got more bonkers. 
Like when we go out to the big bad real world, people are gonna be like, you guys you are, are crazy. We're crazy. Oh, I think I should fit. I So these pillows, are they pillows? Cushions were designed for the room which is going to be Charlie's office, but they're not quite to his taste, but... It's too big. Damn. Well, hang on, can you hold one? Uh, yeah. I'm not going to put it down because it's obviously wet, but I actually think in the short term, that will slot through there, that will slot through there, and it will actually... Can you just hold it straight? Is it that much? It's not that much longer, is no. it? It will work. But also, if we ever got um, a table where we could have like benches as the outdoor seating for like barbecues, yeah. then it'd be fantastic, like I an outdoor table. I think it's a very dominant pattern to have in a house, but in yeah. a garden, I think actually it works really well. Yeah. I think they're actually hydrangeas. That's what I just said, darling. Yeah, yeah when we were going up the stairs, I said I they're hydrangeas. About 20% of what you think. Look at this miserable day. Compare this to this time yesterday. I was applying sun cream outside this time yesterday. 95%. You're such a gremlin. <laughs> a gremlin. And the hydrangeas come out. Yay. Such a beautiful you know colour. Oh, you're so annoying. Chicken. Hello, my oh, little pumpkin. Oh, small. My small and hairy friend. I love you so much. You're getting a bit of a sneak peek here because the decorator has yeah. done the priming of the bedroom, so it's now looking more white than cream. Spot on. Yeah, that is definitely the blind front here, isn't it? And I really like the pom poms. That's so cute. That's fantastic. Yeah, so that's that. And she said that this fabric is Susie Watson fabric. You don't know what that is. No, <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice fabric company. Is it? Show me again with it like half up, half down. Oh, that's adorable. It, and, it, and it, look, we, it, you know, it's the only blind we're going to have in here. Yeah. Because obviously we've got the shutters. Yeah. Uh, so I think it seems silly not to use it. Yeah. I'm not in love with the fabric, but I think it, it's perfect for here for now. Look how nice the, like, pure white walls with the fireplace looks. It's just going to be so gorgeous in here. Half. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. The half needs extending. Yeah, it's quite narrow, isn't it? Hi darlings, so it's now the next day. Yesterday was a bit of a wipeout. Um, I think with the weather change, Charlie and I were just so low energy. We actually ended up, well, we were going to drive to the nearest town to get fish and chips. That's how low energy we were. Um, but as we were driving, we saw a chip van, like a proper good looking chip van, pulled up in our village. And it turns out that there is fish and chips every Wednesday in the village and pizza every Friday in the village hall. So we are thrilled and it was a really, really good fish and chips. So it's now the next day. Um, I've been doing just some emails and editing this morning. And then as you saw, I have just been filling up one of the new six foot rails, which I ordered on eBay with the contents of some of my suitcases. So previously I would always keep my off season clothes in a suitcase, but I thought if I'm gonna get this incredible wardrobe room built, then I really would like to have all my clothes available at all times. So when we're able to travel again, it'll just be so nice to be able to pull things out of my actual wardrobe instead of having to rummage through loads of suitcases. So I still have quite a lot to go through, but I just find exercises like this so much fun because my clothes bring back so many incredible memories. For example, this dress here will always remind me of our trip to Cambodia. This will remind me of the trip to Ibiza maybe two or three summers ago where I really fell in love with the more kind of hippie side of Ibiza. Um, this will remind me of that summer day at Clifton House with Revolve. Um, this beautiful dress, which Reese have actually um, relaunched this year, will remind me of our gorgeous trip to Kefalonia. Oh my goodness, just so many memories. This dress in particular, if you've been following me long enough to remember this dress, then you'll know how much I wore that a couple of summers ago. So yeah, lots of memories here and it's really lovely to see everything laid out on display. 
my tummy is starting to rumble and in 30 minutes Charlie and I have a call with the wardrobe company that we have chosen to use for this room and they have sent over some initial designs it's really really exciting I've got a few um, amends that I would like to make but I think this afternoon I'm also going to take stock of exactly how much rail space I need, how many shelves I need and things like that but yeah it's going to be really really exciting and I just can't wait to see it all come to life so I'm going to go and make some food before our Zoom call with the wardrobe company. Yes. Can you admit you're doing something useful? Yeah. Okay, it is a couple of hours later. It is one of those days where I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I think maybe because today and yesterday we've been really like settling down and getting a lot of work done. Um, and then obviously there's still so much house stuff to keep on top of and I have about 57 unread WhatsApps. It's just one of those days where it's all getting on top of me, but I have to put everything into perspective. Obviously there is a lot going on right now and I think everyone is just feeling a lot more anxious than usual but on the plus side it was a really positive call with the heritage wardrobe company so that is who we have decided to go with for our wardrobes i looked at so many wardrobe companies and as i mentioned i think in the video last week we also had a quote from a local carpenter and Heritage, to be honest, it has been the wardrobe company of my Pinterest dreams for the last three or four years and I have always dreamt of having a wardrobe built by them and they just seem to have the perfect style for this kind of property. Their designs are, in my opinion, really classic and really beautiful and just everything that I dreamt of really when it comes to a wardrobe space. So we have now done a few Zoom calls and they've got all the measurements that they need to have provided us with our first drawings, which I am gonna go through with you. And I provided a little bit of feedback on those in today's Zoom call, so yeah, it's really starting to come alive. If you remember in a vlog, again a couple of weeks ago, I showed you my dream drawings. That's That was really the starting block and using some ideas from previous projects that Heritage have done and lots of ideas from my Pinterest, I think we are almost there when it comes to the designs. I didn't know whether to keep this as like a big surprise and then just reveal the wardrobe room when it was done, but I want to share the journey with you um, and it'd be really interesting to get your feedback as well. So I'm gonna just be really open and show you the designs from the word go. So um, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so this is, um, I think we've got eight pages here, all the different sides of the wardrobe room. And yes, it looks pretty complicated, but it's a really detailed drawing. So elevation A, that is where we are. Just checking my address is not visible on here. Nope. Um, yeah, so this is elevation A, which is this wall here, if the focus would like to work. Sorry about the yellowiness, it is very dull outside. Um, so it's going to look like this. And if you look a little bit cl more closely, if my camera would like to focus, you'll see in the middle there, I've got a beautiful long mirror and that's gonna be my outfit of the day mirror. We've got six drawers, that's, um, I need to put this down again to point at it. We've got six drawers here, and that's gonna be really frequently used clothes. And then they initially suggested some shelves here, but actually I would rather these two areas be open. Um, gosh, my hand looks so tanned. I think I really caught this on the past few days. Yeah, these are going to be open um, and they're going to have beautiful brass rails here where I can hang some new clothes or this is probably going to be my video filming background. So just pretty clothes, you know how I used to have on the rail when I was filming. I've asked the designers if we can have interesting shapes up at the top here. I'll insert a picture from my Pinterest on the screen here, um, which is what I would love it to look like. 
And another of the reasons why we chose Heritage was because they're really flexible. So for example, on this call, I was making um, points and questions and everything was like, yep, no problem. Yep, we can do that. Yep, that can be done. Even though what I'm doing is a really bespoke version of their, I think it's their Stuart design, Stuart and Empire design. Um, but everything is totally changeable so for example normally they would do silver rails but i was like can i have brass yep no problem we're going to be doing some really beautiful ornate kind of shaping along the top here one of my main inspirations was the hotel rooms and the, the walls at the ritz paris and uh, again, I'll insert some pictures on the screen here, and that's hopefully the effect that we're going to go for. Originally, um, we were talking about using Heritage's own uh, doorknobs, which actually perfectly suit this house because we've got lots of doorknobs exactly the same as the knobs that they use. But then when I was looking on Etsy, I found some stunning, again, I'll pop a picture on the screen here, some stunning antique drawer knobs and pulley things. So I think we're going to go with that instead. So that's going to be all along here and something that we're currently discussing is having a bifold door here which will make this doorway kind of like a secret entrance into the bathroom because I feel like with this stunning um, wardrobe section I don't really want to then have a, a dark wooden door if that makes sense. So hopefully that will just be absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's elevation A. I don't know if this is even interesting, but um, yeah, you can just skip through this if you find this very boring, but I absolutely am just thrilled by it. Okay, elevation B. So that is this wall along here up to about there. So up to, I think, here is going to be half height units with beautiful um, antique mirrors. That's what this section is gonna be. And inside we're going to have shoe shelves. Then it's gonna get a little bit higher and we're going to have a mix between drawers, shelves, hanging space. And this I'm actually asking if we can take away the rail and that's going to be my boot storage. I need to try and keep this in order. Elevation C is another really exciting one and that is all the way down that end of the room so you may remember there is a little window here excuse the mess as always underneath the window we're going to have a lovely little window seat um, we're going to have the gorgeous very typical of heritage and this is one of the reasons why i fell in love with them um, this really lovely circle design that they do on the mirrors and i'm going to have antique glass on the mirrors so it's not going to be the best for actually looking at yourself in it's just going to be visually stunning and behind that is going to be really tall hanging so things like dresses long dresses like my beautiful needle and threads self-portraits and winter coats etc can go in that gorgeous long hanging section and then the two grey boxes where it says um, joins to elevation B and joins to elevation D you can see this little sketch here is going to be some really fantastic hanging space on the right hand side and I think we said we were going to do shoe storage on the left let me just remind myself yep so that's going to be lots of fantastic hanging space and then elevation E that is this area here, um, god this room is so messy it's kind of embarrassing to be showing you in this state. This is going to be my makeup and dressing area. So we're going to have some open shelves along there and then we're going to have a dressing table along here. Again it's going to have beautiful antique glass on top of it. Um, some lovely drawers and I'm probably going to put a mirror on the top around here because then I'll be facing the sunlight and I'll be able to do my makeup in really lovely natural light. So these are the sketches and the drawings, the view from above, just to get another idea of it. Um, and then I'm going to have an island in the middle down there, again with antique glass on at the top. So yeah, those are the drawings so far. I think that's obviously draft one, a few little tweaks will probably get made. Um, I want to see examples of the antique glass in real life before I 100% set that in stone because it is quite a significant extra cost to have the antique glass rather than a plain mirror um, but I am willing to invest in this room. I think it's just going to be... I want it to still look quite old if that makes sense. That's why I'm going for the antique 
doorknobs and draw pulls and I just think antique glass would really finish it so beautifully and we're going for a cream and gold finish. I used to really lust over like a pure white dressing room but I just think I've seen too many of them and like a plain colour is what we had in Clapham so I want something with just a little bit more character, a little bit more personality because this room absolutely deserves that. It is going to be a few months until the build can start because obviously we need to have someone come over here and do proper measurements when lockdown's over and they do have a little bit of a waiting list right now and a backlog where their suppliers haven't been able to, you know, run business as usual. But... I'm happy to be patient for it because it's just going to be incredible and I'm going to spend so much time up here. So that was a really nice little distraction. I need to do a little bit more tidying up in this room now, a little bit more organising. I need to order some more coat hangers. I thought I had tons but I've managed to use them all up on this rail here and I need Charlie's help um, just finishing to put together the second rail. It needs a bit of brute force I think to... Um, wedge one of the the bottom bits in. I got this uh, rail on eBay and it just doesn't quite slot in. It just needs Charlie to like wrench that up together. Um, but yeah, they are really good big long rails. I think when I've got everything out on rails, I'll do some steaming and probably a little bit of sorting. It really is highlighting to me that I have got more white dresses than I could ever possibly know what to do with. And I'd like to get everything organized just so that I can have in my head exactly how much hanging space is needed before we submit the final designs and I don't want everything to be crammed up together I'd like to be able to open my wardrobe doors and have everything spaced out like this as opposed to everything being you know like totally crammed up I don't think that's quite as inspiring when you open your wardrobe doors I get a lot of questions about these hangers by the way so I will leave them linked in the description box down below really hard to do this one-handedly I think I might also um, go to the supermarket this afternoon. It feels like it's the evening, even though it's not even four o'clock yet. Um, and I also need to go to the post office. It's my friend Sophie's baby's first birthday uh, next week. So I need to pop a little something in the post for him. Um, and I've also got a few returns to do. I am returning the Netta Porter Isabel Moron dress. Case in point about having too many white dresses. And that one is just not... It's just not perfect, so I need to get those chores done today because we have got a lot of deliveries coming tomorrow. We have got a sofa coming for the snug cinema room. We have got my antique French bed, which I ordered on Etsy before we even moved here, so that's going to be really exciting. Um, and we've got another big delivery as well. I can't remember what it is. I think it's some garden furniture. So I want to be at home all day tomorrow. So I'm going to get cracking with packaging everything up and... If I have enough energy in half an hour and that's done, I'm going to go and do those errands. I thought I'd quickly show you these trousers. I did share them on my Instagram stories when I first spotted them on the H&M website. I think they were $12.99 or something. But I just thought they'd be really lovely for a pair of lightweight summer trousers. Just for those times you want to have something covering your legs maybe. You are going to be going somewhere where you need to be a little bit more covered up. Um, but you are still going to be in a toasty environment. This is perfect. And I just love this kind of twirl print. I think it looks very expensive. So that was a nice little purchase from H&M. And also in that same order was this absolutely stunning dress. It's this beautiful halter neck design with this ruffle detail around the neck, which I think is so lovely. And this absolutely gorgeous material with the florals on it. I think it would be perfect if you are looking for an affordable outfit for special events, summer weddings, that kind of thing. Um, again, the price tag on this was just incredible. H&M are just smashing at the moment when it comes to these lovely dresses. And yeah, I think this is another absolute win from them. It's annoying that the lighting is just so yellowy because it's not showing the true colors, but it really is just the most gorgeous dress. So my trip to the post office is not going to happen today, <laughs> nor my supermarket trip. Um, Charlie has just suggested we go for a nice long walk, so I think that's just what we need because it's starting to get to that time of day when energy levels are down. Um, this is actually a barber that my mum um, re-waxed, re I think she did, and yeah, really, really like it. And then I've got my Fairfax and Favour boots on, and I've also got on my... NHS tassels so you can get these if you've got Fairfax and Favour boots 
um, and obviously all the proceeds go to the NHS and it's just a nice little way of showing your support. Charlie is just picking Dexter from the bushes and then we're gonna go for a nice little countryside stroll. While we're waiting, I'll just show you the herb garden. The coriander and the parsley especially is looking amazing, as is the chive. The mint is starting to take over, but we're just gonna stop it from growing any further than here. And the salad box is looking very healthy. These are all really starting to grow up. We can definitely pick our own salad leaves next time we fancy something healthy for lunch. It's not the idea, get down. We've got our matching jackets on. Come on, you little terror. Puppy dogs, do not go in the herb garden. Beast. <laughs> 